Hey everybody, it's Romania Black. So this morning on Twitter, they released a preview trailer for the Given OVA that's going to be coming out this December. So with Given's Manga Volume 7, they're going to be releasing a little OVA DVD with it, which is really cool. And so uh, what's going to be on the OVA is going to be scenes that were left out of the movie that came out last year. And so if you're a manga reader for Given, like I am, you'll notice that as you watch the Given movie, there's in the end credits lots of little um, screenshots and panels. Those are actually moments from the manga that they cut out of the film because they wanted to focus on Akihiko and um, Haruki. So the OVA is going to be touching base on those moments that were specifically left out to create a more cohesive movie. And I'm really excited about the OVA. I There's a lot of moments going back and rereading the manga that I was like, oh, they did cut that out. That'd be so cool to see animated. And I'm really excited about it for several reasons, but um, I want to talk about that after we watch this preview. So uh, the preview came out this morning and I was at work and I was like, ah, oh, well, I'll get to it later today. And then Wushin on Patreon in the Discord, she was like, hey, they've got it with English subtitles. And I was like, eh, I, I've been told the subtitles are not the most accurate translations, but you know what? If it's a fan translation that came up in like two hours after the trailer released, who am I to complain? Y'all are doing the work of translating. As long as I get the gist of it, it's fine. So I'm really excited to see this trailer and see just like a little preview of it animated. Uh, so let's watch that and then we'll, we'll talk briefly about it. But I had, as soon as it came out, I was like, yeah, we got to watch this. So let's do this, shall we? We're going to watch uh, the uh, given OVA, Uragara no Sanzai. Hmm. Uh, the official trailer with the English subtitles here in three, two, one, and let's go. なあ。まあ、冬は今まるで空のプールにジャブジャブ水を入れるように音楽を吸収していた。歌詞が書けない。ああ、そんな悠長で大丈夫か。あ、君はライブ審査だぞ。お前さ、マジでここ最近毎日
that face, that animated face of Mafia's panic and sadness is just, uh, it's gonna, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt because that's the thing about Given and especially about Mafia and Oenoyama. Oenoyama coming from the perspective of someone that's fresh and new to love and Mafia coming from the perspective of someone that's loved and lost. And what I love about Given is it touches on, it touches on the idea of what do you do when you move forward from a relationship that's over? Because, you know, in, in a lot of stories and narratives, it's like the end all be all. You meet that one person and you're with that one person forever and it's happily ever after and till death do us part and everything. But what happens if it does, if death does part you? What do you do then? You know, how do you move forward? And so Mafia's whole story of how to move forward while still. And I love this part here where he notices, I mean, spoilers, spoilers, where he notices the clock's the same as one that Yuki had. And when he was like, I don't know what you're dealing with, but I want to help. And then Mafia just realizing that the fingers are getting farther and farther away. Like that he's, he's afraid that he's going to forget Yuki and not be able to carry that memory with him moving forward with Wayno, with Wayno Yama. And so the whole message you've given is communication and, and ways to move forward with someone and for you to articulate that. And, mm, mm. but I mean, this looks exactly like the movie, exactly like the show. I, mm -hmm. There's a lot of moments when I was watching the film that I went back and read the manga after the film was over and I was like, man, they really cut that out. That really sucks. And now when they announced that there was this OVA coming out, I'm like, oh good, they're gonna animate all that. And so here's the thing too. I know some people will probably think, oh, well they won't make a season two now because they're having this OVA. And really, honestly, the stuff from the OVA was already in the chapters with the movie. So I don't think that that's the case. Um, I was talking to Wushin on Patreon and some others in the Discord about it. And I really think that they have enough material you know, in another six or so months, they'll have enough material to make a season two. And I really hope that they do. I mean, it'll take a while, obviously, but I think with as popular as Given has been, um, with this OVA coming out, with the movie, I think with its popularity, that it may warrant a second season, which would be really awesome. So, yeah, that was really cool. I, mm, something to look forward to. So, just like earlier on this year when the movie came out, I'm definitely going to react to the OVA. Um, actually, I have pre-ordered, uh, along with someone on Patreon, I pre-ordered the Volume 7 with the DVD. So hopefully when that comes in, we shall see what happens. But I don't know. I'm going to have to look into like regional DVD Blu-ray players to see if it'll function or not. But if not, then I'm sure that just BL things or someone will be doing a subtitle, a fan subtitled version of it that'll come out you know, later that winter. So... I'm curious to know your thoughts below about uh, this OVA and about the chapters of Given that were left out. And please uh, tag any spoilers for those that are anime only um, that are coming into this without any idea what they're getting into. Um, all I can say is I'm really excited. So with that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful evening and a wonderful weekend. Stay safe, take care, and I'll talk to you all again real soon with more reactions. Bye.